Hello friends, this side Rahul Magan here as a Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP which is a limited liability partnership firm incorporated in India. As you very well understand that we are having a brand which is foreign exchange where we think us and under this brand we are uh, having a YouTube channel and uh, today we are going to cover a very very uh, interesting topic as you understand that now we started posting videos uh, covering, technical an uh, covering technical analysis as well. In this video, we are going to cover. Uh, in this video, we are going to cover a uh, negative interest rate parity. Sorry, in this video, we are going to cover about Aussie dollar, which is one of the highly volatile currencies we have across the globe. Now, in Aussie dollar, as you very well understand that uh, there are. Uh, just to give you a background, those who are not aware of, there are uh, three commodities currencies across the globe. One of them is Aussie dollar, shortly known as Australian. Uh, one is Australian dollar, shortly known as Aussie dollar. One is New Zealand dollar, shortly known as uh, New Zealand dollar, and uh, one is Canadian dollar. The first two currencies are acting as an uh, direct pair also, because as you very well understand that globally there are only uh, there are only uh, three direct pair. There are only four direct pairs, which is GBP dollar, Euro dollar, Aussie dollar, and New Zealand dollar. And the third commodity currency, which is uh, dollar to Canadian yen, it is acting as a uh, basically as an American ally. Uh, sorry, Canadian dollar. It is acting as an American ally. As you very well understand that in the last uh, few months, there are a lot of volatility which has happened in the commodity sector. Like I was watching the Bloomberg TV, and I got to know that Glencore, which is the largest uh, commodity firm. Their profitability has been reduced by approximately 96%. The top line of the company, which is income from operations. I was watching and I got to know that uh, Petronas has reported 96% less sale. The bears, almost all commodities companies reporting more than 50% decline in the top line, which is not a good signal. Because if this would continue, then the mass firing would happen. And uh, at the same time, I strongly doubt that they would be able to produce any job growth in their economy, whether any economy. They have an American, they are in American economy, they are in the Indian, eco Indian economy, or they are in the Australian economy, or any economy. They are, it is very difficult for them to create, a, create a job opportunities. Henceforth, it is very important that we should understand that the volatility uh, factor uh, we, sh we should we should understand we should understand the volatility factor in uh, in uh, commodities market. As you very well understand that commodities market is generally generally regulated by Australian dollar or Canadian dollar because uh, because New Zealand dollar exporting model is all about uh, you very well understand it's all about perishing. Uh, it's not perishing. It's all about perishable goods like uh, Frontera. It's milk and all these kind of products. So it is all about uh, perishable goods. It's not that. It is not, uh, you know, it is not like uh, hardcore commodity metals like we have in case of uh, uh, China, in case of Australia, in case of Canada. But at the same time, ignoring these things uh, do not work because the consideration is very simple that Australian dollar is, uh, is, the, is amongst very few currencies who are offering the carry as of now and sitting today you cannot ignore a country which is offering a carry carry i means to say that is sitting today if you invest in aussie dollar then uh, you will get uh, 1.5 percent on the other hand if you invest in dollar you will get 0.5 percent on the other hand if you invest in uh, tokyo you will get negative on the other hand if you invest in uh, europe you will get negative and so on and so forth so aussie cannot be ignored there is no doubt about that so today's video is all about the volatility in the Aussie and at the same time how the Aussie is going on in the last uh, 10 years. You should clearly see that on your screen that on your screen we are having a chart. And this chart is from the financial terminal which is purchased by uh, Treasury Consulting LLP. So we can make any chart. Now if you look at this chart, it's a 10 year chart. But of course things are very clear. It's a 10 year chart. Now you know that since it is a 10 year chart, Sorry, my mistake. It is if, if it is a 10-year chart. Now, in this, I have taken a daily. Uh, you can see the volatility. Now, here was the Aussie at the highest when Aussie was roughly 0.94, and that was in uh, 2014. I still remember during these time 
uh, I was in Singapore when uh, Aussie was 0.94 and 0.95 and uh, we predicted that uh, uh, you know Aussie should uh, go to 1.06 and more there was a time when Aussie was 1.06 also but unfortunately uh, these days were bygone when Aussie was it now when Aussie was that let me uh, increase the size of uh, this chart uh, let me check for you wait a minute um, let us uh, okay let's move ahead with three years but let us do let's compare this with gold also yes so you can see the gold because you may well understand that uh, gold is also a commodity and uh, Aussie is also a, a commodity currency. Now you can see that uh, in the last three years, 2013, 14, 15, 16, the maximum Aussie was 0.94 and in this uh, Aussie went lower from 0.94 to currently trading at 0.76 and uh, Reserve Bank of Australia has uh, done the commodity, uh, uh, is having an, a commodity monetary policy. In this accommodative monetary policy, Reserve, Reserve Bank would try to stimulate the economy at a much faster pace. But unfortunately, this is something which is not working. So if we carefully see this chart, if we carefully see this chart, then we can very well see that Aussie dollar is losing its stream. So currently, Aussie dollar is trading at 0.76. Here, it is trading at roughly, which is 0.76, right? On the other hand, gold trading higher. I think gold is roughly trading at 1340, something like that. Now, if you are an Aussie exporter and, and, and one dollar is equal to, sorry, one Aussie is equal to 0.76 dollar and if Aussie would fall in, then you are gone. If you are a dollar exporter. If you are a dollar importer, then it is a, it is a benefit for you. But the point is very clear. But the point is very clear. The point of the fact is that where Aussie would go in the in the longer tenor. Now the question here is that Aussie is a commodity currency. Now as we understand that Glencore is falling and a lot of other a lot of other economies are falling. Commodities are falling in that range in that regards we do we should not expect that Aussie is able to we should not expect that Aussie is able to maintain a good strength in the near future. If you look at the chart carefully, then you will get to know that Aussie has fallen from 0.94 to 0.76 and gold is rising. For a minute, for a minute, we don't compare this with a gold. Right? We remove gold. Okay, wait a minute. We remove gold. Yeah, wait. Okay, what we do we will do a technical analysis here so we will come here and we will do the uh, say a pattern called bullish engulfing now see the bullish engulfing what do you mean by bullish engulfing bullish engulfing is there is two things one is bearish engulfing what is bullish engulfing now see here this is bullish engulfing bullish engulfing means when there is a bullish partner who will who will engulf the entire bearish pattern and markets will go higher. Now this is bullish hair engulfing. See this market will go higher. This is bullish hair engulfing. See this market will go little higher. This is bullish engulfing. See the market will go little, little higher. See this bullish engulfing. See this market for for market will move little higher. In nutshell, let me explain. Now bullish engulfing is a pattern. Now bullish engulfing is something which people are checking nowadays very seriously. Now bullish engulfing means a, a kind of situation where it, wherein you know uh, now bullish engulfing means you know it is a uh, pattern or a chart that forms a small black candlestick. Now black means uh, it is getting down, followed by a large white candlestick that is completely escaped or engulfed the previously. It occurs bullish engulfing. Sometimes you have bearish engulfing also. Bearish engulfing means that one positive. Now bullish engulfing means that one negative day and then positive day. Now bearish engulfing means that one negative day, one positive day followed by a negative day. 
Now at the other parts of the chart, let me click bearish engulfing for you. Because this is a terminal of the financial uh, of strategy consulting LLP, so we can do anything, not a problem. So we will go here and we will tell bearish engulfing. Here you go, enter. You can see here, wherever one positive day and after that market start falling, this is known as bearish engulfing. Bullish engulfing means positive day, negative day followed by positive day. Bearish engulfing means negative day followed by the followed by the positive state. Now let me remove the gold here to and three. Now you can look this chart more carefully. Let me remove this arrow also. Yeah, if you allow me, then let me remove this dark cloud also. This also, and you let me remove this also. Let me remove this also. Now you can see. Now you can very well see that. Uh, so you can very well see that this is bullish engulfing right this place is bullish engulfing because you have one negative day then followed by positive here it is bearish engulfing going down you can see here bearish engulfing going down you can see here bearish engulfing going down you can see here bearish engulfing going off be bearish engulfing going down now you can very well understand that these all signals will tell you that how markets would happen how markets would react and suppose I will make not this daily, rather I will make this weekly. Yeah, rather than making weekly in the last three years, let me make it little more uh, hefty chart, which is monthly. In monthly chart, let us go to uh, wait here, and here we will consider bearish and buffing for a while. Since the data set are very small, so they have not been able to pick up because it is three years. So let us go weekly. Now you can see again. In the weekly also, you can very can see that bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing pattern. These all are there. So these signals will help you very well understand how the market is going, how exactly is the market is happening, how what is the sentiment in the market and all. Now in this bullish and bearish engulfing, let me uh, uh, give you. Uh, oh sorry, that. Uh, it went down let me open this chart again it may let me open this chart again we'll go in currencies We go in Aussie dollar. We click here the charting. We come here, and in this we will say daily. And now this being an Aussie dollar, I would come give you something very interesting, which is let me think over it. Uh, say relative strength index. This is the relative strength index and suppose let us have these two also which is wait, where it is control a bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing. Now you can very well see there is nothing to uh, you know we need to think about it that wherever if you see that the bullish engulfing you will see that RSI is going up. Like I'll show you uh, here, you can see that RSI is going up. Where you see bearish engulfing, you will see that RSI is going down. See here, RSI is going down. Uh, here, bullish engulfing, it is going up. Here, it is bearish also very near, so more more or less going up. So this is bullish engulfing, you can see it is going up and say so this is bearish engulfing, it is going here down. 
So now you can very well understand that you know, uh, you know, if you use such charting tools, then you would be able to make a lot of sense out of how the currencies are behaving, what how, you know, what uh, tools and techniques we should use, and so on and so forth. At the same time, we should completely understand that uh, very carefully that you know how things would happen, that uh, you know what currency structure to be taken care of, and how how it is taken care of, and uh, so on and so forth. So this was for today. But before winding the video, let me give you one more indicator that uh, if we change this uh, period of RSI from 14 to 100, assuming, and we'll say okay. Enter. Then even though you will feel that it's all working, bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing, everything is working. So these charts will help you in uh, mitigating a lot of volatility factors in your exchange rate. And at the same time, these chart will help you to, un to understand that uh, how this currency pair is moving. So this was all about for today from Treasury Consulting LLP, which is a limited liability partnership for firm. You are welcome to contact us at uh, 919, you can contact us at 9899242978. Our email ID is known to you, which is uh, treasuryconsultingllp at the gmail.com. Thank you and we wish you a great day ahead. This side, Rahul Nagar from Treasury Consulting LLP. Thank you and have a good luck.